What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to do a recap on the trades that I took for the day for January 23rd, 2019. <coughs> uh, I had I started out by marking my levels from 8 a.m., the pre-market high and pre-market low. And I took a trade based off of uh, what I thought it may do. So when it, when the market opened up, uh, it pushed up to pre-market highs and it held for a little while. It didn't just go straight through it like it may look like it, but it held it. So I took it, uh, got a couple contracts to go short, to short it. Uh, once it went up through and I got this, confirmation candle or it closed above my pre-market has and I got a confirmation candle showing that it was some strength I uh, took one of my contract or I sized down on my contracts uh, I waited for it to pull back to pre-market has and to see if I wanted to take it get a couple contracts to go long which I did uh, it popped up and came back down and broke through and closed, but it instantly came right back up. So that's why I didn't sell any of my contracts when it was, because I had I didn't have a confirmation candle under that it was going to stay under. So I held my calls uh, up here. They wasn't <clears throat> they wasn't much in the money or anything. It was a small amount. So I left them on, uh, thinking that it might stay up longer. So when all of this went on, because these five-minute candles, so it took a while. So when all of these were on, I decided to go do something else for a little bit. Go make me some coffee and something else. And when I came back, it, this candle had formed. So I sized down and I kept a smile amount of my contracts on and so now I have positions uh calls and puts with my options uh and I'm just holding them uh I got my sales set in for them just in case they reach my target but I plan on letting them go to zero if they don't reach my targets uh my the strategy that I use off of pre-market highs and lows. Uh, I start in with a certain amount of contracts, then I take some off, and then whatever else I want to let just hold on to, I'll let them go to zero if they uh, uh, if they go to zero, then it's fine. It's gonna be what I risked anyway for the trade. And if they continue up, uh, I let them get, see if they can get up in the money or at the money before I even think about touching them. So that's my trade recap for today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you like the video and subscribe. See you all tomorrow. Later.